All right, all right, all right. Another episode, Chain Link Sports, and we got LSU right-handed pitcher Jaden Hill projected to be a first-round draft pick next year, and I'm super hyped to have Jaden on. Jaden, thank you for taking the time, man. What's going on? How you doing? I'm doing good. I appreciate you having me, man. I'm just trying to stay safe out here. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, how you doing with the whole uh, pandemic thing going on? You and the family are staying safe? Yeah, man, everything's been good. I'm actually in Louisiana, still in Baton Rouge, still working out and things like that. But, man, it's been tough. This definitely – it's been one of the most uh, highest cases down here in Louisiana where we're at. And so, you, know, you have to play it smart and just kind of stay out the way. But I've still been able to get my work in and things like that. Right. And um, I'm glad we brought this up because this kind of brings me um, into the first question. I want to know how you've kind of been staying ready – um, during this whole process, and um, if you're even like playing games right now, I don't know, like if you're in a college league or what your deal is. So, like, how have these past few months been uh, shaping out for you? Man, when it first all started, it was tough. everyone, everything closed, the campus closed, all the facilities closed, and so I've made I made went two or three weeks without doing anything. We couldn't go anywhere. You know, our season was canceled, and so then um, you know I, I talked around. I met someone here who trains, and so I, he his facility was open. And he also has a gym at his house. And so we've just been going back and forth, trying to make things happen. And I was actually able to work out before a lot of other people were. You know, I just got lucky and um, was able to do it. So it, it hasn't been too bad for me. It's actually been maybe one of the best things for me personally as my uh, for myself individually, you know, um, for me to learn things about myself and gain things. Like right. That. And then, like, have you um, have you been able to go live against any batters in, like, a game situation or in, like, a facility-type area? What's that situation like? I got to him two or three times later. Um, it was way later. It was maybe like two or three weeks ago. I got to go against the pro guys before they left and went off. I got to go against uh, a couple guys who played here. But that was it. You know, I didn't, I got to get a, a, a couple bullpens in every Tuesday, Friday, flat grounds, you know, things like that. But I didn't get to throw against hitters until towards the end. And then the MLB season started up and all those guys had to leave. Right, right, yeah. So kind of – um, rewinding a little bit, I want to go back to when you were a senior in high school and when you kind of had to decide whether to start your pro career or go on to college. So what was that um, uh, decision-making process like? Man, it was tough because, I mean, who would play for LSU? You know, it's like it's one of the greatest. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it was tough for me, but I think, you know, it all came down to money and, you know, what team really had a lot of interest in me. And so, you know, after I had my offers and talked to my family, and we just figured that the best thing for me was to come here. And it was probably one of the best decisions that I've ever made because I love it here. I love the people. And I've gained and learned more than I would have ever learned if I would have went and played pro ball in my right. And then what about LSU that kind of separated themselves, you know, from the others? Because, you know, I'm sure you had a lot of other, you know, very nice schools or high caliber schools uh, recruiting you. So what was it about LSU that kind of separated them from uh, the rest? Uh, definitely the coaching staff so, uh, with Coach Manet and Coach AD, the pitching coach. Man, he's unbelievable. You know, I feel like if you want to play at the next level, then he's the guy you need to play under. And it's definitely been there since I've been here. And so he definitely set uh, set apart from other coaches. And then the facilities, of course, and then the fans here, the diehard fans. And they're unbelievable. Right, right. And now recently um, you just came back from an injury, right? Or maybe like in the past year or two? Uh, Okay, so then what was that process like, you know, coming back? And then was there anything that you kind of took away from that, you know, whole, you know, recovery and uh, rehab process that's kind of helping you now, now that you're um, back to full strength? Yeah, man, um, the whole process, man, it was tough. I came here to play, and I, I got hurt within two outings, and I ended up the entire, my entire freshman year, and I was just battling an injury. Um, yeah, I, I, nothing was actually wrong, you know, there weren't any – diagnosis to it you know I think I just wasn't ready I played football in two sports and so I never got to play baseball year-round and I just don't think my arm was right. in shape or and so you know it just made me step back and just realize you know how how thankful I was after I had the opportunity to play here and you know um I really started diving into my body how my body works how it's different from other people how throwing programs work and I just learned a lot about myself as an individual and it was probably now looking back, it was a really good thing that happened to me because now I won't ever take for granted any opportunity that I get. But at the same time, um, it was tough, man. It was tough. Yeah, absolutely. And 
And your freshman year, were you more in like that starting pitcher role? Yes, I started my first Okay, and then now are you kind of – because um, a lot of guys that I talk to, you know, they're st- um, they kind of start out as starters and then, you know, they might get hurt like one, two, or three times and then they find out that maybe like going into the bullpen and like letting it loose for like one or two innings is like kind of the way that they can maintain their arm strength. Like are you kind of um, trying to stay with a uh, starting pitching or you want to move more towards like the bullpen and like close the role? Uh, the ultimate goal is for me to be a starter. I'm doing this this coming up season. That's what I want to do. Um, but at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. You know, I just feel like I want to pitch at this point anywhere, starter, reliever, closer. It doesn't matter. I, um, I started off a uh, starter my freshman year, then this past year, went to the reliever, closer role. And I loved it, honestly. You know, I just love the intensity is different towards the end of the game. You get to throw harder, really use stuff as much. Starting's really, really fun. And, and I really just enjoy pitching at the end of the day. So right. whatever happens. I mean, listen, man, it's a good thing you're healthy now, so you're going to get back out there. So last question I got for you is, you know, and this kind of like circles back to the first question, is how are you preparing for um, next year's draft? You know, and I'm sure it's hard right now because you don't have, like, the full capacity as uh, you would normally have in terms of, like, facilities and, like, maybe even pitching in live games. So how are you kind of keeping yourself ready for that? And then I know your brother got drafted, right, if I did my research correct. So, like, does that kind of make it easier because he can kind of walk you through, you know, some things that you should be doing to kind of prepare you since he's been in that same situation as you? Um, I have been – I've been working out, training, doing my throwing and things like that uh, here. I've kind of – found a, a program to where I don't really need too much. And so I have everything I need right now. Uh, and, you know, with the coronavirus, when we were in lockdown, I started mentally getting stronger, figured out my body as a mental standpoint rather than a side of it. And um, and then for us, uh, my brother, he, uh, yeah, he definitely, he, he gives me advice. He played a position. So, but he definitely gives me advice for things to look forward to, things to be ready for as the bus rides, the, the training, the what it takes to get there. And then I found other mentors outside of him here uh, that are pitchers that, that have been really helpful for me. And so I've just been taking advice from each and every person and kind of putting it to me and, and just going and just whatever happens, happens. That's awesome, man. So I wish you the best of luck. Uh, glad that you're healthy again. You're going to be on the bump again. So thank you so much for taking the time, man. I appreciate it. Sir, I really appreciate you having me. Good luck this year, man. I'll talk to you soon.